An announcement today that could remake a large section of downtown Rochester. That coming from Governor Kathy Hochul, who is in town today talking about her 2023 executive budget. Tens of millions of dollars could be on the way to help fund the next giant phase of the Inner Loop project. Amel Elhel has this story. The Inner Loop North has been a topic of conversation among Rochester leaders for more than 30 years, as many have advocated for getting rid of the expressway to make room for new infrastructure. Not only has the route eliminated the possibility for business, but it's also divided neighborhoods from the rest of downtown. There was a beautiful church that was in that neighborhood. There were businesses that were in that neighborhood. But we just went right down the middle and put a highway. Plans to remove the sunken highway have been in the works for years, but due to financial difficulties, those plans never came to fruition. But today, Governor Kathy Hochul may have made that plan a reality. I want to connect the communities, bring people back down, and make sure that our downtowns are vital. So today I'm announcing $100 million in funding committed to the project. There you go. The governor's $216 billion executive budget now includes a proposal for $100 million to the city of Rochester to complete the Inner Loop North project in a two-year timeline. This area has divided Rochester too long, and I know we can do extraordinary things. Proposals still need to make their way through the legislature before anything is set in stone, but the governor says the project will fully reconnect severed communities within downtown Rochester, providing links to the Genesee River and High Falls District. I think what it means for Rochester is it means that we are atoning for the sins of the past. As you can see, Inner Loop North is right behind me, and if the project is completed, officials say groundbreaking could be happening as soon as 2024. Adam, Teresa, back to you. Amel, thank you. The Interloop North project follows the city's project on the Interloop East, which was completed about five years ago and provided nearly six acres of land.